Hello everybody, Steve Politi, Keith Sargent, James Cratch here at SHI Stadium, 48-7 Maryland victory. And Nunzio Campanelli's debut was no different than Chris Ash's um, recent <laughs> efforts. I mean, what can you say, guys? I mean, we, we've gone through this a million different ways. It's talent. I mean, Maryland has more talent than Rutgers. You could see with the big plays. Uh, the, the, I know there were some breakdowns on defense, uh, but overall, I mean, they're just better, Cratch. I mean, that's yes. It. Rutgers, they're, they're not good enough to compete in the Big Ten. I mean, it is what it is. So all the schematic changes we've seen today, Sarge, I mean, at least, you know, if you're looking for positives, and we're trying. Um, there were, like, Johnny Langan did move the ball a couple of drives. They had the one nice trick play. I mean, what did you think overall of the offense in the Nunzio? Uh, some good. Uh, at the very beginning, you know, they established their tempo. I know, you know, we've talked about the, the flipping of the coin, the, the, the deferring and everything that, that Ash you know, would, would always defer to the second half, and they got the ball first. I know Maryland won the coin toss, but that was what I was talking about. You, you come out, establish the tempo, be able to, you know, try to, to do some positive things. They did. It, you know, field goal got blocked, but, you know, overall, you know, some, some positives. But like Crash said, I mean, last I checked, they weren't able to have like a, a national signing day, recruiting day uh, right. before this yeah. week, so they're not able to turn over the roster just yet. And if anything, they've lost players. Right. The big story: losing a player. Uh, Raheem Blackshear not yes. playing. Uh, on top of Arthur Sikowski not playing, those are your two best offensive players. It's certainly two of your veteran offensive players. Do you agree with, do you agree with the decision? What they're doing? I mean, I don't th really think it's you can agree or disagree. I mean, it, it's the way it works now, yeah. and, and I think they're two different situations. I think. Blackshear is a guy who clearly just the season's over. Um, no, look, there's still seven games. He could come back, but he's clearly a guy who probably is thinking toward his future. Right. Um, whether it's the NFL, whether he wants to look to go someplace else, who knows? We, he, neither player was made available after the game, so we really couldn't ask them directly what they're thinking. Yeah. I think Art, on the other hand, doesn't really fit what Nunzio is running. So I get the feeling that Art is he still has that one game left. There's an emergency and. Honestly, the way Lang and some of the hits he took, they might need the catch. He's not running that offense. Yeah. Art, yeah. Art is not going to run that offense. I think Art's a guy who's just going to take his red shirt, develop and practice, and then see what happens going forward. Right. Um, my big concern with the offense was they moved the ball well, but it's on tape now. Right. Maryland right. figured Maryland it out. Oh, no, no, like no, this. So, the quarter so, Maryland figured it out. So the Maryland coach, <laughs> we asked him about it, and he went back to watch the, the Bergen Catholic video of what yeah, Lang yeah. and then, uh, you know, basically, that cut to your point, yeah. it's like, you know, it was smart, I actually didn't think of it, but yeah. like, you know, he actually went back, got the Bergen Catholic tapes, and, and uh, you know, that's what Johnny Langan said after the game, he right. said they basically ran what Bergen Catholic ran yes. a couple years ago. So I guess my point is, we saw Johnny Langan, I think we saw Johnny Langan, like, that, is, yes. that, that's what he is. I don't think that he's going to be able to make a massive jump, even with more reps. Yeah. So if that's what the offense was, and Maryland figured it out in a quarter... I know. What's going to happen now? Ohio like, State, you know, Penn, like every time they now. I, yeah. I just don't see this offense getting much yeah. better. I mean, they, they, this, they, they did win the time of possession. That was, you know, that kind, did. Of, kind of helped. Yeah, um, they did. So, and, but I mean, I'm looking for positives. I am looking. I am looking for positives. I mean, you know, like I said, they they were able to establish their. You know, they won the time of possession, and and <laughs> it just, you know, they're overmatched. I mean, you they know, ran the option. Kind of. yes. Let and, me ask this question: Did Rutgers fire the wrong coordinator? And I mean this honestly, because at least you saw some, you saw positives with what they were doing on defense. You didn't see, you, you, I mean, on offense, you didn't see the defense was terrible today. I mean, missing assignments, guys couldn't get, you know, couldn't get anything done. Yeah, I, the one thing I will say about that is the, the first play is a perfect example. They, they run a slant over the middle, and I guess maybe you could probably look at and say, well, was the uh, safety up too close, maybe trying to stop their run? But, you know, the, the Maryland guy was just faster. Right? You know, they, the Maryland, again, we go back. They have better players. We kind of thought going in. We saw last year. Yeah. They just have better skills. But, you know, they, they, they're just faster and they have better players. Can anything change? We got three half, no. three half the season. No, More I mean, half the season. they've got seven games left, and four of those games are against opponents that were either in the AP Top 25, undefeated, or both. Wait, wait, is half the sack on that? <laughs> no, I, it's just... Uh, and, and the delay of games, North? too, that, that really... I know it's a, it's a kind yeah. of a new quarterback, but it's like... You know, that was one of the thing, concerns I kind of had was you're putting a lot on Nunzio, like... Delays of game, stupid penalties. You know, apparently they're two guys in the same number on a special team. One time they got away with it. Like that's the sort of stuff that you kind of wonder. Okay, like is, there's too much chaos. There was, and, and, and in fairness to Nunzio, like, yeah. like everything happened this week. It was a week from hell for him. Yes, you know, yeah, you know, you're losing. You know, you're, you're the guy who's probably going to be in your game plan uh, last year on Friday, right. and then you know, it's just you know, week from hell for him.
week from hell for them, and we're signing off here from SHI. The season from hell. Season from hell. This is yeah. I, and I, before we go, there is a potential when you've been outscored. I can't do the math in my head, but it's 120. 130 something. to seven. 130 to seven. We got a long way to go too. Steve Politi, James Kratz, Keith Sargent, podcast on Monday. I think. Thanks for listening, watching.